Welcome, true believers and newcomers alike. Spider-Man co-creator Stan Lee here. Once again, we find our hero Peter Parker, better known around the world as the amazing Spider-Man in a heap of trouble. But this is just the beginning, Spidey fans. So get ready for a true superhero action thriller, packed to the brim with thrills and chills, twists and turns, more super villains than you can shake a web at, and of course, non-stop web-slinging, wall-crawling action. How awesome is that? Stan Lee introing a game for Spider-Man. Not just your average run-of-the-mill Spider-Man game, no. This was a 3D semi-open world Spider-Man game. But it's not just Spider-Man. A lot of the famous superheroes, supervillains, and hangers-on make an appearance in this awesome, awesome game. What can you do in this game? Well, everything a spider can. You crawl around on walls, you web sling building to building, you have super strong melee skills because of your amazing spider-like reflexes. You're super strong so you can pick up really big heavy objects and just hurl them at enemies. You can shoot web projectiles, you can even pull enemies towards you with your web. You can literally do everything Spider-Man can. And while this isn't very impressive in 2013, because we've had a few pretty good Spider-Man games, for a game that was made on the PlayStation 1, this was groundbreaking. This is the game Superman 64 developers look at as they weep. And being able to do everything Spider-Man can isn't the only groundbreaking thing in this game. Like I said, it's also semi-open world. It's divided up into levels and you save your progress after every level, but a lot of the levels are actually parts of the city. To be fair, it's not complete parts of the city, it's only like the tops of buildings. But the levels that take place outside, most of them are huge and you really get to experience Manhattan as Spider-Man in 3D for the very first time. The graphics are just amazing. I can't believe this is a PlayStation 1 game. For how massive the levels are, and for how good this game looks, it's mind-boggling to me that they could fit all this information onto a PlayStation 1 disc. It's also important to note that for a PlayStation 1 game, and for how many different things you can do, Spider-Man handles incredibly well. If you're good in this game, it's going to translate into being a really good Spider-Man. You'll be able to jump out of the way of enemy attacks, shoot enemies just when you need to, evade enemy attacks like the big swings of Scorpion's tail, regular punches of thugs you run into, and even missiles from police helicopters. There's this one part of the game that's one of the coolest things you will ever experience. The cops are after you, there's NYPD officers on every rooftop, and you just have to run through all of them to escape, sometimes having to fight the cops. But that's not your biggest problem. There is a helicopter with missiles chasing you. The helicopter just blows up everything in your path. It tries to shoot you down with machine guns as you're crawling up this broken down abandoned building. You're jumping from cranes to buildings to boxes just hanging up in the New York City skyline. It is the most high-octane, awesome chase sequence you will ever experience on the PlayStation, hell on any system ever. It is so damn cool. It does need to be noted that not all of this game takes place outside. There are portions of this game, really big portions of this game, where you're going to have to take out the bad guys indoors. Obviously, for Spider-Man to use all his powers indiscriminately, he needs a big area. So for the indoor areas, the game kind of turns into a stealth sequence where you try to sneak up on enemies, jump behind them and beat them up before they know you're even there, shoot them with your web and just incapacitate them before their I friends see in? it. And of course you're gonna have to save hostages before the bad guys take them out. This was the first ever Spider-Man game where you can literally be Spider-Man. None of that 2D running from the left to the right, there are no restrictions, you're just Spider-Man in this open 3D world and you can do literally every single thing Spider-Man can. The game has a pretty quirky and fun superhero story. It's not too dark, but it's not a story entirely for kids. I mean, there are parts in this game where hostages can get killed if you're not fast enough to save them. The voice acting in this game is also just superb. But do I really even need to say that voice acting is good in the game? 
which is opened by a monologue from Stan fucking Lee? I don't think so. Spider-Man for the PlayStation 1 gets an official Stan Birdman rating of a 9.7 out of 10. Thanks for watching. Goodbye, my friends. I think I'm gonna go play more of this game. Positive on hit base. Ah, negative on shot. He moves too fast. Taking the shot. He moves too fast. Got him in my sights. Oh, stop now, Spidey.